Okay, in this one we're going to be using Puppet Warp, and uh, it's kind of an interesting concept, and we're going to learn some new skills as well here, um, and kind of reiterate some old ones. So initially what we want to do is we want, um, we're, we're maybe doing an advertisement for the Bahamas, and we want the word Bahamas to kind of follow the contour of this little blanket or cape or whatever, but this is like too severe of a curve, and we want to change that, and maybe we need her to stretch out her leg or something like that. So um, this is kind of has two different parts that we need to, to work on. One is we have to isolate this girl and the fabric from the background. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is I'm going to make a selection and like in the puppet warp or puppet or I'm sorry, the content of where um, we use this quick select. Now this this does um, what it does. I mean, it, it's good in some ways and it messes up in some, but this is, you can get the, the majority of this pretty quick. You can change the uh, size of the brush. Now I've got a little bit of problem right in here. I can go back to subtract and see if I can get rid of some of that. I can just hit control minus. Or I could use this uh, uh, polygon lasso or the lasso tool. In this case, um, it's really not going to make that much difference. Um, I just don't want really to have her hand, so I'm going to add to this selection, make sure I got all of her hand, and make sure I've got all of her hair as well. Now, the next part here is that what we want to do is we want to transfer this to a new layer, and in order to do that, we're going to hit Control J, and that is copy to a new layer. Now that, um, if I turn this off, you can see that everything is copied to a new layer. But I still also have my original. Now I want to get rid of my original, so I need to make that selection again. Or if I hopefully, if I was smart enough, I would have went ahead and saved that selection after I made it. But I can I can reselect that by holding Control down and clicking on this thumbnail right here. And that reselects every pixel that's on that particular layer. Now, we're going to use Content Aware Fill on this, uh, much like the uh, beach scene that we had just done earlier. But since this is such a tight selection, um, we're going to get some artifacts and it's going to leave it. And let me just show you that. I'm going to turn this layer off so you can see what's going on. And I'll go to Edit Content. Oops, wrong layer. Edit Content Aware Fill, and I'm going to just use the uh, default and hit Apply. And you can kind of see this ghosting effect, and you can kind of see it in the preview here. Deselect that, and see. Well, what's happening is I had a little bit of green that I didn't select. And then it's trying to say, okay, well, we've got blue, we got green, what do we want? And it kind of does a mixture and doesn't do a real great job. So here's what we need to do. I'm going to go back out of that. And I'm going to expand that selection so I don't have that little ring of green. So I'm going to go to Select and Modify, and I'm going to Expand. And we'll expand that. I think by about 10 pixels, so it makes it bigger. So now I clearly have a blue um, border around everything. And then what I can do is go to Content Aware Fill, I hit Apply. I didn't turn off that top layer, I should have maybe. I guess I did have it turned off. Now I hit Control D, and it's really virtually gone. So now I have that isolated. Really, I have the original as well, but I have that person isolated now, and now I can manipulate it. So the next part is where we would go, and we go to Puppet Warp. Now, some of yours may have this mesh, and if you want to get really detailed, I can grab um, this mesh and move it around, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to take uh, oops, Control Z. I'll take that show mesh off. 
And what I want to do is I want to add some pins, and basically these are anchor points or like joints. And I'm going to do this from uh, kind of a kind of a child to parent kind of organization. So a lot of times they call it rigging in a 3D modeling. So I'm going to think where my wrist is, and then my elbow, and then my shoulder, and then my torso. So I'm going to go and work from the outside in, and I'm going to put things where I think I might want to bend things here. And all right, so now once I have those pins, I can hold Alt down and click, and that will remove a pin. Um, I can also hold Alt down and be kind of close to that pin, and now I can have a rotation. So now look what happens. I can, oops. Rotate. Oh, sorry. I was on the wrong layer. So now I needed to be on that layer. And that kind of messed me all up. So let's cancel that and be on the correct layer. Sometimes it's good that we do make a mistake because you might make a mistake and not know how to fix it. So I'll go, let's see, here and here and here. Put one on our shoulder hips, her knee, and her ankle. Okay, so let's try that again. If I hold Alt down, get that uh, cursor that changes the two arrows, and now I can bend the foot out. Now, I'm going to be able to distort things really badly, um, so you got to be kind of careful with this. And a lot of times you do it gently. So I'm taking the parent up. See, and this, this wasn't anchored, so I can move this up. And you would probably never know, I hit Alt, change her foot a little bit. So straighten this up, can pull this out, lower it down. So I can modify things, I could even put another pin here, straighten it out. And no one would ever know. So this is not for wholesale really whacking things out because you can really whack things out. I mean, you can make anatomically incorrect, but this is just for those little subtle tweaks that maybe the model wasn't exactly where you needed it to be. Okay, and then we'll hit check mark, and we're done. So that's uh, that's puppet um, warp. You're going to be using this one. So you'll do the same thing. You'll make the selection. And oh, we need to add to it. If it's really fast, you're going to take much more time. Then we will hit Control J, place it on a new layer, reselect it, or we'll expand the selection. Maybe take 10 pixels Come down on the background layer. I can turn that first one off. Background layer, and I'm going to hit Edit, Alt, Control, Fill. And I guess I missed part of it. But then we can turn it back on, and then we can place our pins and move it around into some sort of uh, fashion that I don't, I don't really care. You can walk like an Egyptian or whatever. So.